Hello. I'm Edgar, Smith to the court of King Pender. Although I think I might have just lost the job. Pender's been slain up in Northumbria at Winwade. After 30 years of quiet life for our communities, due to his victorious campaigning, he's finally met his end. Our great, victorious, glorious, powerful leader and protector is gone. And without him, our peace and safety cannot be assumed. We are lost. Mercia is lost. I think Pender's son, Pader, will take over and hopefully he'll keep me on and maintain peace. But in the meantime, I've been instructed to dismantle all these fine battle decorations, including sword pommels and battle crosses, Pender's own helmet. This is normal practice as we remake metal objects according to new requirements and styles. But what is not normal is that there are no instructions to make anything new. I'm just to hand over the pieces to men who delivered them. It's most unusual. Maybe Pender wanted to keep them from his enemies and would rather they be destroyed and hidden than fall into their hands. Before they go, I want to pay my respects both to the objects themselves and to the smiths that made them. I can guess at a couple of names as the work is so fine and distinctive. The birds are clearly East Anglian and most likely the work of Edmund. I'm sure there are some pieces from the workshop of Edwin of Northumbria. They were taken from the cold, dead hands of our enemies on the battlefield. The objects live on even if their owners don't. A few of the pieces are old, probably handed down over generations. The decorations are symbols of power, like visual spells woven into the fabric of the weapon, bringing the protection of the spirits to the carrier. There are also some jokes if you know what to look for. I suppose when you're fighting for your life, you need all the help you can get, and a good laugh too. The stones have their own story. They're garnets, and have come far from the east. We don't get them often, and most came with the Romans, so they get used again and again, outliving the pieces they adorned as well as the owners. <laughs> I could talk forever about this, but I have so much to do. Like and follow for more.